Hey guys, welcome back to Bad Tabletop Gaming. Today we have a pretty cool match lined up for you. We have Black Legion taking on some Necrons. We're going to be playing the Chapter Approved 2019 Mission Four Pillars. Should be a lot of fun. Today I'm joined with Matt. How's it going everybody? So what I'm bringing with my Necrons, uh, I, I like to play a little differently than everybody else. No Doomsday Arcs. I know it's crazy, but none. I got a nice silver tide list under the Mephrit Dynasty, and I'm super excited to take on the Black Legion. Yeah, it should be really good. Uh, if you guys haven't already, please like, share, and subscribe. Uh, all the comments you give us uh, help us kind of continue to hone and you know polish the channel, and we want to bring you guys content that you like. So we'll do a quick overview, and then we'll do an army readout, and we'll get into the game. On the Necron side of the house, I bring a battalion. They're under the Mephrit Dynasty, which allows me to give minus one AP when I'm in half range. In my list, I've got Omrakir the Traveler. He's one of my HQs. He's not the Warlord. But Omrakir is really interesting because he has Mind of the Machine, which allows me to take control of a couple uh, vehicle weapons and shoot them at uh, Bill's own models, which would be nice. Then I've got a Cryptic. He's got a Chronometron. And I've given him the Veil of Darkness. You know, I like to run him with my destroyers, and they'll be teleporting all over the field doing their thing. After that, I've got a regular Lord, and I spent an additional CP which gives to give him the uh, Lightning Field. The interesting thing about this is it gives the Lord a 4-up invuln, and then you can run him around to uh, provide that reroll of wound rolls of 1. Moving from there onto the troops, I've got a 20-man Warrior Blob, which just do their thing, sit down, castle, and uh, take the hits. Then I've got two 10-man squads of Tesla Immortals, hoping the uh, My Will Be Dones from the Overlords, or er, er, uh, Onrik here, and the Lord will allow them to really pump out those shots. Moving to the elites, the Silent King Zerus was kind enough to uh, send forth his Triarch Praetorians to watch over the dynasty, so they've joined the battle. And then I've got a 10-man squad of Lichguard with War Scythes. The Dynasty will also be utilizing one of their Catan shards, and that'll be the Nightbringer. I'm going to bring him in and we'll do a lot of work with him, I hope. After that, we have a complement of Destroyers as Fast Attack. And then, correction, the, uh, these guys are Fast Attack as well. Triarch Praetorians and Destroyers are in my Fast Attack slot. After that, I have two Triarch Stalkers to round out the list, giving me those rerolls of one. With everything in the list, uh, it gives me three to eight points. That gives me a total of seven points because I've done the minus one CP for the additional heirloom. Alright guys, starting off my 2000 point Black Legion army, I'm rocking a battalion. Uh, leading the battalion in my warlord is Abaddon. I also have a jump pack sorcerer he is armed with my free relic of Angel's Bane. My psychic powers are Delightful Agonies and Warp Time. Then I've got the classic two 10-man squads of Cultists and a five-man squad of Chaos Space Marines, uh, three Bolters, Meltagun, and the Chainsword. Kicking off to my Vanguard Detachment, I have a Sorcerer Mark of Nurgle. He has Prescience and Mizma, Mizma of Pestilence, I'm hoping to use later. Uh, the detachment has three Hellforge Contemptors, one with two twin Laz Cannons, and the other two both have uh, double fists with Soul Burners. And then my last detachment is a Spearhead Detachment, rocking my Lord Discordant. He's got a Bale Flamer, and then I have a Venom Crawler as is. I managed to steal a Leviathan from the Iron Warriors, being the War Master. So he's got a Butcher Cannon, the two Hell Flamers, and he's got a Claw. I know the Siege Drill is on there, but it looks so much cooler. But we use it as the Claw in game. And then I've got a uh, five man squad of Havocs with missiles, and a five man squad of Havocs with uh, Reaper Chain Cannons. And I also, on the Spearhead, spent one CP to make the detachment have the Devastator battery keyword and then I spent one CP 
on my jump pack sorcerer to give him the council of traders which i pretty much gave him trusted war master so i could recycle points on five up uh, starting the game off with 10 cp Okay, so, so far Matt is going to be getting the first turn, unless I can get the siege roll. Let's right, check that one. out. Okay, nope. so Necrons will have turn one, it seems. With my Necrons, I decided to leave the Triarch Stalker here. He's got some line of sight on a few units, so we're going to keep him there. The Tesla Immortals just moved up, holding on to the objective. My Triarch Praetorians are sitting back here. Basically, I'm hoping to uh, get ahead and jump forward in the next turn. My warriors started moving up the field, basically meat shields for my Catan and my Lich Guard, kind of moving into the uh, ruins here. My plan is to hopefully assault through and start dealing with that line. The Immortals have been given my will be done, so they're going to hang out here and just kind of provide fire support. And Charak Stalker here is going to sit there and shoot what he can. And my, excuse me, my Cryptek used his Veil of Darkness to bring a unit of destroyers here to hopefully take on and take out the Lord Discordant. Nice. At the end of his movement, I am going to burn one CP um, with Ooh. my Do you get it back? Punishing Volley with the Missile Havocs. Nice. Try and fire into those warriors. See These if I get it. Right yeah, see if I get it back first. I don't. That's okay though. Next time. Yeah, and uh, so they get four D6 shots with the frag missiles. Oh, wow. So we're looking at, ooh, nice, 22 shots. Give me a second here. All right, 22 shots, rolling the hit. shots, looking for threes. Not and bad, not bad. Abaddon lets me roll all the misses. Okay, that's pretty, because he's, because he's cool. Real bad, real bad. Oh. So, not terrible. All right, these are tough, uh, tough four warriors. Okay, these are strength four missiles. So let's see what we can do. Not terrible. Looks like ten wounds total. All right, ten wounds, needing four up save. Unless there's an AP. I don't believe so. No. All right, we're just gonna quickly check. Yeah, should know this, but I don't. Nope, no minus. All right, so four ups to live. Where are we sitting at? I think uh, two, unless bad. Is that a one oh, or six? Bad or one, yeah. Okay, so three of my warriors go down. All right, I'll take those away and uh, move on to the Necron shooting. No worries. I as well have something at the end of my movement phase. Antimatter Meteor is going to throw on a two plus closest visible enemy unit, which will be these guys. Will suffer D three mortal wounds on a six. They suffer D six. So, two plus. On oh, that, that Nothing. good old bad. Nothing. Alright, <laughs> into the shooting phase. First thing first, the Triarch Stalker is going to give my uh, Tesla guy some reroll ones. I'm going to throw two shots into this guy over here. So I need uh, threes, no rerolls. So two hits. This is strength nine on tough seven. Seven, yeah. So threes again. Ooh, oh, that, was a, that was a bad. Okay. How many wounds do they have? They have ten each. Ten, okay. If I re-roll this, I can maybe knock him out in one turn. Oh, damn. So, I need threes, so I'm going to use a command point. Okay. I'm going to re-roll the bad. To another bad. Thanks, man. <laughs> All right, so one goes through. It's going to be minus three or four for the uh, heavy gauss gun, and it's minus four. Okay. So, he's got what? Uh, he has a three up and five up and vulnerable. Cool, so it's going to go to the invuln. Five up and vulnerable. Nope, goes, goes through. Goes through, it's going to be d6 damage. Four points Four. right okay. off the bat. Now, that's going to allow my Tesla Immortals to reroll one. So I'm going to have ten shots here, or sorry, ten Immortals, so that's twenty shots. Okay. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, 
19, 20. So, threes, re-rolling ones, Tesla on sixes. Ooh. So we're going to take out the bads. Uh, that's cocked. How do you do it? You want to re-roll? Yeah, re-roll. That's totally okay. fine. Sure. So I'll take the twos out. Take out the bads. Ooh, there's the twos. Sixes. That bad as a re-roll. So we got one six so far. Everything else is a hit. And these get to re-roll. Alright, so two of those, which means I get one, two, three, four more shots. Okay. These are strength five against toughness seven, so I need fives. Again, these are the Tesla Mortals to the Contemptor, needing fives. That's a lot better. That's what I should have got on the first roll. One, two, three, four, five, six. And these are at no AP. No AP? Okay. Yeah, so I'll do it. Okay, so looking for three up. Take another. Strip another wound. I'm okay with this. Okay. All right, we're gonna move over to. I'm gonna put this tri triarch soccer into the venom crawler. Again, twin heavy gauss cannon. No rerolls on that. So this will go through, and that's gonna need a strength nine, tough seven. Tough seven. Threes. That goes through. Oops. Minus four. Okay. No. Um, you have a five up demon save, eh? Yep. Five up right. vulnerable. Well, it's cocked. Yeah, go ahead and reroll it. That's yeah. a good one. All right. So, but anything I shoot at that, we'll be able to reroll ones. I'm gonna take uh, gonna take these warriors. They're gonna go into that squad of cultists. Take measure right here. Make sure I have enough within 24. So it's gonna be everybody. Okay. Uh, I lost three, so I'm down to 17. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16, 17. Now these warriors were my will be done. So it'll be 17 hitting on twos. Nice. And it's at the posts. And it's strength four on tough four. Tough is three. Tough three, so threes, and these are at minus one. Ooh. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven at minus one. Minus one, they only have a six up save. So uh, they're gonna die. Oh, and it's eleven, how many are in the squad? There's ten. So these are all gone. That's first blood to the Necrons. Yep. Ouch. Ouch. <laughs> Alright, so I'm gonna move over to these immortals here. I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This guy fell over. He can't see though. And these guys are going to go into the Venom Crawler as well. All right, so that's eight at two shots each, 36 inches. We're in range. So 16, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 12, 13, 14, 15, Now these guys were my will be done and the stalker hit it with its, uh, sorry, attacked it. So these are twos, re-rolling ones. Very Tesla nice. on five and six. Oof. All right, let's grab these ones. That's a whole lot of sixes. So these are very important. One, two, three, that was a six. So I'm just gonna put those aside. These all hit, we'll put them there. These are re-rolls. And they converted for the most part. And I get to add two, four, Five, six hits because nice. of the three sixes. And these are strength five and tough seven, so I need fives. No AP though. Okay. All right, so we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven, okay. Seven wounds on the Venom Brawler. Venom Brawler, okay. Venom Brawler. So looking for three ups. Uh, takes a wound. Takes a wound. Yeah, that's right. Suffer. All right. Now we're going to move into the last shooting, which is going to be the squad into the Lord Discord. And we're going to do some sneaky stuff here. I'm going to play two stratagems, which is going to be Talent for Annihilation and Extermination Protocols. Talent for Annihilation, when a Mephrit unit from your army attacks in the shooting phase, each time you make an unmodified hit roll of six, you can make one additional hit roll for that model. Extermination Protocols allows me to re-roll hits and wounds. 
So it's going to be 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18 shots going to the Lord of Scorpion. Ooh. These are hitting on threes, re-rolling everything. Sixes are additional hits, so we'll just put those aside. Grab the bads, grab the twos, everything else is a hit. So we'll re-roll these first. All right, so that's all those. Now, I get two additional hits for the sixes, which gives me two more. These are strength six on toughness six, yep. so I'm wounding on fours, re-rolling everything. Oh boy. Yeah. So these are all hits. Fours. Oh, well that turned out in your favor, so we'll just take those away. Bam. <laughs> Alright, so we got... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. These are at Ooh. minus three and D three damage each. Oh man, minus three, hey. Yeah. Okay, uh, I've got a two up and a five up, so looking for fives no matter what. Okay, oh, boy. This could be bad depending on the rolls. So, how many wounds does he have? He's got twelve starting. D three damage. Uh Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, <laughs> sixteen, seventeen on Toast. the Lord's Discordant. Lord Discordant is done. All right. That excellent shooting phase for the Necrons. I'm down to four command points after that volley. All right, so Leviathan moved up. I'm gonna try and get some shots on that Triarch Stalker. And uh, everything else is pretty much wrapping around the corner. I'm trying to keep in a nice six inch tight bubble of Abaddon, the max rerolls. I'm gonna try and really lay down some firepower down range. Um, my Venom Crawler regenerated his wound. He's gonna move up and try and engage some warriors. We'll see how that works. And then to kind of just Bumped around over here, claiming the objective. Just trying to hold on this flank so it's not uh, going to fold super quick. And I will start off the psychic phase. Oh boy. I wonder what that's like. It's pretty cool. <laughs> What's a psychic phase? <laughs> <laughs> on the, uh, so I'll cast delightful agonies on the non-damaged Contemptor, All right. for a six. It does not go. I will CP it though, because I would like it to go off. There you go. It goes, goes on a six and uh, get that point yeah. back. I don't. That's okay. Right. Down to eight. And then what I will do is I'll also cast uh, warp time on the same on the same Contemptor. Yeah, give him all the good stuff. Yeah. So warp time, he gets to move again. Oh, okay. All right. I see what you're doing. You're coming after the stalker, aren't you? Trying. He does four points of damage and all of a sudden he's a target. <laughs> yeah. Don't worry, buddy, I got you. I think that is it for psychic phase shenanigans. Alright. I think, yeah. Here we go, Necron Battle Line is arrayed. Time to start getting some shots Actually, off. Actually, I'll do, I'll do one last power here. I'll do uh, prescience on the uh, Venom Crawler. Alright. My Nurgle Sorcerer, looking for seven. It does not go. That's okay. That's all right. Okay. For shooting, I may as well start picking on the stalker. All right. You, you okay. did good, kid. Yeah. So the uh, contemptor, I'll fire the two soul burners into it. So it's two all d three right. shots. Not bad. A total of three, and I'm looking for twos to hit. So there you go. I'll hit. Yeah. Um, auto hits. Or sorry. Hits cause mortal wounds, so it's three mortal wounds. Oh, that's it? That's it. Okay, well I'll get a dice on him in a second. Nothing too crazy. Um, for my Leviathan, yeah. I'll fire the Butcher Cannon. Normally need two because I moved and fire uh, heavy weapons. Actually, I'll, I'll burn one for the, uh, what is it called? Blasphemous sure. Machines. 
So I'll see if I get a point back for that. Does no, not. Down to seven. But so he'll ignore the heavy. So looking for twos. That's a good thing. Tough Strength seven. eight, T seven. Looking for threes. And that is five. Five AP. AP is minus one. All right, three or four. Let's drop. Oh my god. Those freaking all thumbs today. All right, so two go through. What's the damage? The damage two. Damage two. So I need to roll ones on my Goss. Uh, sorry, my quantum shielding, and I'll ignore it. All right, so he takes four points, so he's taken seven. Seven, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Get a dice on him shortly for remind myself. Mm -hmm. uh, from this, oh yeah, contemptor. He's gonna do the same thing. The two soul burners. Sounds good. Looking to lose. Two d three. There you go. Total of five. He is hurt though, so he's gonna be a little bit weaker. He's looking for threes. <laughs> a little bit weaker. A little bit, yeah. <laughs> Uh, it's a cocked. Let's give that a reroll. All right, so four go down. Uh, yeah, and I'm gonna end up taking a wound myself because I rolled that one. All right, so one, two, three. Sounds four. Four. All right, so four mortals down. Not bad, not bad. We have a chance to reanimate. And then from the, I'll fire Abaddon's claw. Yep. Yeah, he's in range there. May as well, right so in the middles, eh? What do we got? He gets four shots. He's looking for twos. Rerolling all misses. He's good. Uh, and this is strength four, T4. Tough four, yep. Looking for fours. Two go through. Uh, uh, minus AP. one. Minus one. Three up to a four up. Cover? Yep. Uh, back to a three up. Okay. Okay, all right. <laughs> I'm just going to... We're going to ignore cover saves and saves in general. And then from the uh, heavy chain cannons... I'm going to fire um, all four of them into the Immortals again. All right. So This go. is the way to handle Necrons, one at a time. Yeah. So I'm just going to pop this in here. All right. So I'll roll 16 twice, uh, looking for threes. And re-rolling everything from Abaddon. Oh my god. So far, so good. Yeah, so 14 so far. Second volley. It's coming. And then reroll is 14 plus 14, 14 28. So 28 in total. So 16. 16 and 12. Got more dice there. 16, 24. So 24 dice. Uh, strength 5, T4, looking for threes. Yep. And rerolling, eh? Uh, no, not really on this one. Oh, oh. thankfully. Whew. I'm okay with this. And then the other four remaining it didn't matter. All right, those are all my saves. Yeah. So uh, AP. AP is minus one. Okay, so plus cover is all right. I need I need to fail four of these. So I'm just gonna roll those ones. One, two, yeah, they're dead. Unit wipe. So that's uh, that's first blood for you as well. We'll update that in the tracker here when we move to the next phase. Okay. Not bad, not bad. There's a unit wiped out of Immortals. I'll, I'll actually target the uh, destroyers now. Alright. So first thing, the Contemptor Dreb, the, the two twin Laz. All the way fire. back there, across to here. Send yeah. it. So I'm looking for twos. Or oh, sorry, threes because I moved. Yeah. And re-rolling everything from Abaddon. There you go. I'm okay with that. And then strength, nine, T. Five. So looking for threes. Oh, well. Only one. All right, one. Um, Minus three. Yeah, so they get their five of invuln thanks to the chronometron. All right, and damage. D six damage. Oh, kill the guy. Blech. And then four crack missiles. Send it. Three into the same. Five. Ruling yeah. from Abaddon. Ruling. All right, so three go through. Strength eight. Looking for threes again. AP. Uh, minus three again. Minus three, so they're five up. So two more damage. And they're D6 each, so for the first one and the second That'll one. That'll kill a guy. Yeah. Blech. All right, is that all the shooting you got? Uh, Those bolters can fire into the uh, destroyers. Yeah, they might. Oh, and then your Venom Crawler as well. Yeah, Venom Crawler I'll do first. Okay. Venom Crawler, he'll fire uh, his cannons, the 2D3 shots into the uh, Praetorians. Praetorians, there you go. So looking for a total of five. All right. So I'm looking for uh, 
Looking for fours. Okay. And these are at strength eight. Top five. Looking for threes. Nothing. Not a thing. <laughs> Poor Venom Crawler. And then let's see here. Max 24. So I can get four bolter shots into those destroyers. May as well. Looking for threes. Not bad. And then. Top five. Looking for fives. One. One. AP. No minus. Three, two, two up. Good to go. Boys are saved. Okay. All right, what else you got? Anything left? That is pretty much it for my shooting. All right, state of the board. I lost a unit of Immortals, and I lost two Destroyers. So I guess we'll move to uh, Necron's reanimation. We'll do those really quickly. So I got these two here. They're on four plus, thanks to the uh, thanks to the, uh, the Cryptek. So I get them both back. So I'll put them up in a sec. And I have three Warriors from that squad. They have five ups because there's no quick deck. None of them come back. We're going to skip over to Necron's turn two. So for my charge phase, the Venom Crawler is actually going to charge into that squad of Praetorians. All right. And I'm going to be needing... Seven? I need seven. To charge. It's an, it's an eight, but I'll need seven to get within yeah. an inch. Any overwatch on those guys? Oh, yeah. They've got Rods of the Covenant. Okay. So there's going to be ten shots. Four, five, six, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So ten shots, new sixes. That's two. And these are strength. I'm gonna take a real quick check here. Probably gonna need fives. Strength five. So needing fives. One at minus three AP damage one. Okay. Uh, so five up demon save. Yes, sir. He is good. All right, you get your charge. I'm looking for a seven. He's and in it problem. makes it. There you go. Tuck Staying right an there. inch away from the warriors. Yeah. Engage with those guys. All right, so fight phase. Uh, Venom Crawler normally has four, so he's got five for hateful assault. There you go. He's looking for fours. Okay. And I'm actually going to cast... Uh, use stratagem? Yeah, I'll use... The uh, Demon Forge. Demon Forge, who gets to reroll hits and wounds. See if I get that point back. I finally oh, actually do. do. No loss. Okay, so looking for fours, combat. Not bad. Three, Three re rolling. So he's got four hits total. And he's strength eight with his uh, weapons. Tough five threes. Okay, looking for threes. Re rolling. Re rolling. And that is four at minus three. Minus three, so three to a six. Yeah. I got how much damage to do? Flat three. Okay, so everyone that fails dies. Three die, one lives. Two. So we'll put those aside. Now I get to strike back with my Praetorians. And there's uh, seven left. Alright, seven attacks. Actually, there are two attacks each. Where am I looking at? So 14 attacks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, I'll do it right in the middle here. So they're hitting on threes and wounding on fives. Because it's strength five, tough seven. Yeah. Hitting on threes. Get rid of those, no re-rolls. Uh, I knocked that one over, that was a three. And needing fives. These are one damage each at minus three. One, two, ah, ah, ah. Okay, no AP you said? Minus three. So My, oh, minus three, so five up in models. Uh, make one, take one. And take one damage. Okay. Sweet. All right, real quick, we're gonna, since we're going to Necron's top turn, we'll do the three reanimations on the Praetorians. Mm-hmm. One comes back. Okay. And then at end of battle round, I have two objectives to the Necron's one, so I score one point. Very good. Movement overview, the uh, destroyers moved over here. Basically, I want to get rid of these cultists, otherwise they can kind of sneak in last turn and snag an objective. So I moved them there. I just rounded out the immortals a little bit, didn't do too much. I just want to keep them there so they can hold the objective. Also, they've got uh, my will be done before the Lord walked off. My Lich Guard moved up. They're gonna they're poised to assault the Venom Crawler. They've got my will be done as well. Um, 
These guys had to advance, basically claim the objective, so I don't lose out on points anymore. Uh, and I'm hoping to scour some objectives and go from there. And this stalker didn't move at all, but at uh, end of the movement phase, I'm going to use my cosmic fire. Actually, I'm going to use my antimatter meteor, which will hit the venom crawler because he's the closest one. And it's gonna, I'm going to use this dice here. So I want a two plus. That's that's cocked. Let's. Got a three, so he's going to take D3 mortal wounds on the venom crawler. Okay. He'll take three. Nice. Alright, and we're going to put you back over to two here. Drops him down the six wounds. Yeah. And that's it for the, the Necron Catan. I don't really need to get him into combat because I want to push him up the board. But right now he's pretty safe because he's a character. So we're going to carry on with shooting. I'm actually going to do something really fun. And I'm going to use on Rakir's ability, Mind in the Machine, to have him shoot at his own Contemptor. So I need a 4 plus to do this. A yellow dice. Do I command point? Because it's kind of a, it's a fun thing. I really like it. Might be a waste of a command point, but I am going to command point because I just need a 4 plus. I'm going to drop the Catan. And I'll come over again. But I do get it. So, uh... So he has what weapons? Um, he's got these. It's it's cannons. They fire D three shots each. Okay, I'm gonna put those into the contemptor. Okay, it's gonna be what two D three? Yep. All right. So he's gonna get four shots going four. into the contemptor. Yep. And he's looking for fours to hit. Fours to hit. No rerolls. I get it with three. Nice. And strength. then strength eight T seven. So it's gonna be threes. And it's going to be a 3, 3, and a 1. Now, damage, AP? Uh, it is at minus 2. So I'm looking for 5 up either way. I make one, take one, and it's D3 damage. D3 damage on the Contemptor. He's going to take a fat 3 Ooh. from his own yeah. compadre. Thanks, Venom Crawler. Aren't they? Don't they like to hang out? All right, now yeah. I'm going to take... How many wounds does he have left? One. One. I'm going to take on Rakir, I'm going to finish up with him, and I'm going to fire his Tachyon Arrow. Okay. All the way across to the Contemptor. No, I don't want to listen to Audible. Necrons, Necrons, there we go. Alright, I haven't used the Tachyon Arrow very much, I'm pretty sure it's hitting on twos. Assault 1, Strength 10, minus 5 AP, D6 damage only once per battle. 120 inch range. <laughs> wow. Alright. So, uh, hitting on twos, watch me roll one. <laughs> Strength 10, needing a 3, goes through, minus 5, so you get your demon save. Okay, come on, 5 plus invulnerable. Oh, oh, okay. oh, that hurts. That hurts so much. <laughs> Alright. Well, where the shot? Just one of on these. Arrow. One of yeah. those for that, yeah. Attack on arrow, always fails, but you know what's not going to fail? This guy, he's going to go and try and take out the connector. He is wounded. He is wounded. He's taken six wounds so far, so he's going to be bracketed. But here's hoping. Oh no, he's not bracketed. He needs one more wound down to bracket. So we're still we're still firing on the good stuff. So I'm going to take two of these. It's going to be hitting on threes, because I didn't move. One goes through. It's going to be strength nine. T7. T7, so threes. It's going to be minus four, so five up. Oh, he's doing it. He's holding out. He doesn't want to die. Is that what's going on here? Okay, all right. I don't know if I have anything else that could shoot across the board to try and take out that Contemptor. <laughs> all right, well, moving on. Let's, uh, let's try, let's have a look at this stalker here. I got a 36 inch range. He's too far away. Contemptor's making me proud right now. Yeah, one wound, holding on. Well. Wow. Not much I can do about it, but uh, we're going to move on to the destroyers over here. Or sorry, we're going to use the immortals, and they're going to fire into the uh, chaos, chaos marines. space marines. And I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. They're all in range, so that's eight. So that's going to be sixteen shots. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. We're going to use the box because Tesla. Oh yeah. So we might well be done before the Lord ran away. Like for Sir Robin, brave Sir Robin. 
Oh, these are going to fail, but that is a lot of sixes. So everything hits, I get two, four, six, eight more. Four, five, six, seven, eight. And these are strength five on top four. So we're going to need big old threes. Oof. No AP though, so they got that sick three up. Yeah. Three up. All those. Save. Ooh boy. Okay. Oh, and one more. There we go. Big old fist. All right, dice. come on. Three ups. One, two, three, four. No, five. they die. They die horrible deaths. All right. Got rid of them. So the the objective there is uncontested at the moment. I can't do anything to get over there right now, but that's more or less it. This stalker is now a little out of the way, so he's got a line, because I can measure from his leg to the Venom Crawler, mm -hmm. and 40k being that weird hull thing, I kind of liked it when it was from the weapon, but not going to not use a rule, so <laughs> we're going to put two shots into the Venom Crawler. On threes. Two hits, strength nine. One, one. five up. About? Sweet five up. He's wow! Dead. Making everything. All right, we're gonna have to get rid of that venom crawling. Okay. So now the destroyers, three shots each. Well, three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen. Going into. I'm not gonna use any of my uh, abilities. You but, sure? <laughs> no. Eighteen shots going into those <laughs> fine gentlemen. Two, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. These are hitting on threes, re-rolling ones due to hardwired hatred. Bad, bad, bad. Let's see if it's good. That was a two. All right, converted. One more. Cool. And these are going to be strength six, tough three, so twos. Mm -hmm. Bad, bad, bad. And these are at minus four because of the So I'm going to lose... I'm gonna lose eight. I've got ten in there, so we're okay. We'll hold out a little bit, anyways. So four, eight. There's still two guys in there. Still two guys, eh? Yeah. I see a charge phase coming. Gotta get the destroyers up the board. And then you'll heroically intervene, and then I can back away and shoot. It's kind of a plan. Um, Alright, the this guy is going to fire into him. He has what's called a Gaze of Death. So that's going to be... It's a pistol. It's not very good against vehicles, though. So Gaze of Death is... Uh, strength... Uh, a vehicle, it will wound on a 6-up, unfortunately. But it hits on 2s, and it's got D6 shots. So it's going to be 3 shots, hitting on 2s. Okay. Of course. Sure. Oh wait, Venom Crawler from the Tesseract Arc, so I get to reroll ones. Or sorry, Triarch Stalker, Tesseract Arc, jeez. Alright, so now I need sixes to do any damage. Nothing. That's okay. Worth a shot, so to speak. Warriors uh, advanced, so they can't shoot. He fired. No, he didn't fire. He did fire. He failed. Yeah. Fired. Fi everything fired. Those guys can't. No, they can shoot. Oh, well, we can tap do whatever. Oh, we're going to have the 10 of them fire into the vent crawler. Okay. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. I misspoke. There's only 8 because 2 are dead. So 8, hitting on 3s. Strength 5, tough 7, winning on 5s. 1 at minus 3. Which one? One at this minus, one? Oh, at the, uh, oh, yeah, you can't see the contender because they're behind the cover. A minus three? Yep, five oh, up. Ugly. Five up, come on. No. Takes it, one damage. Oh, okay. Just got five left. All right, we're going to move into assault. What does he have for assault? The cannons? Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. All right, the, uh, and they're not auto hit, eh? No. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to send the Lich Guard into that guy. Okay, so he will overwatch 2d3 for a total of 5 shots. It's going to be a 4-inch turn. 3-inch. 
Five shots, so looking for sixes. Gets one. Make one, strength eight, T. Five. Five, over three, nothing. Don't All right, it. three inch charge. Yeah. <laughs> so. They're definitely in. You get it with a five. Now I'm gonna angle these guys. Cause I wanna be able to slingshot around towards the contemptor. And Onrik here is going to make a charge as well. He's way in. He's going to go right there. And then, yeah, just move these guys. They're all just going to pile in. Reset. The Lord here needs an 8-inch charge. He's not going to make it. But he is within range to give these guys re-roll. Wound rolls of 1. Alright, now we do the pile-in. These guys are going to do their three inches, come around as best as they can, and pile-in. He's just going to, yeah. yeah. They're going to freaking, it's, it's the war sites. They're such a pain. Okay, so this is kind of, uh, I'm going to leave it so that way he's there. So there'll be one guy out but he's getting the reroll wounds for everybody else, so it'll pan out. So it's nine guys, three attacks each, so it's 27 attacks coming in. Nice. Twenty-two. Twenty-seven, all right. So these are hitting on twos, uh, not re-rolling to hit. And they'll be wounding on strength seven, top seven. Yeah. So it'll be fours, re rolling ones. So hitting on twos because of my will be done. And they get an additional attack because of Onrik here, who gives plus one attack. Not bad. So 23. Good. And there's a strength seven, top seven, wounding on fours, re rolling ones, thanks to the Lord. Needing fours though. Converting two more. So these are at minus four, two damage each. Ooh. And Honor here still has to strike. Minus four. So look at that sweet five up and vulnerable save. Mm, no. So two, four, six. 8, 10, 12, 14. Does he blow up? Let's hope. He oh, does. Oh, come on. Okay, this is, gonna right. be, this is gonna be fun. Let me just double check here. I should know what the range is on this thing. It's gonna hit it everything is, nearby. Yeah, six inches, D3 mortal wounds. This unit, on Rakir, the ledge guard, and the Catan. Okay, uh, starting with the Catan for one. Big ol' one. The ledge guard. It takes three. All right, so that's one guy and a wound on a guy. So just take. <laughs> um, the uh, the name lord, I can't remember his name, takes Under three. Here taking three. Woo! And then those Necron warriors taking three. He did more dead than he did alive. Awesome. Uh, yeah, yeah. So that's not bad, not bad. All right. And now I get to consolidate uh, three inches to the closest enemy, which is going to be... Contemptor. It's kind of my plan. So they're just basically holding up into terrain there, and Onrik here is going to go right here, still protected by because he's a character. Nice. All right, so these fine gentlemen are going to assault these guys. So why don't you throw some stubbers at me? All right. Auto gun power for nothing. Nothing. All right. I need a. Seven, so down to a six inch charge on two dice. Yeah, it makes it with one, so. Nice. Hmm. Oh, I should have declared the character, but it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. They're just gonna go. We're gonna, we're gonna take that base with me, and we'll get right back to you with the combat. Yep. Yeah. All right, the destroyers are getting into combat here. They're gonna basically handle the, uh, the cultists, so I get 12 attacks, hitting on threes. Rerolling ones because of hardwired hatred. Alright, not bad, not bad. They are strength four on toughness three, so I need threes again. No AP. Two 
two, four, six. One for a six up save. No, cultists are dead. All right. And then, all right, so the cultists are dead and basically the just immortals, or destroyers, sorry, are just gonna hang out in the terrain. All right, so movement overview. Basically the sorcerer just came over here to score an objective just to kind of keep it tied up for now. Uh, everything else is pretty much happening on this side. So these two contemptors, the one stayed still, the one moved up. We're going to try and kill that stalker. Thing hits hard. Leviathan waddled over. Jump pack source is going to try and assist them to move up a little more. Then Abdon and crew kind of just fanned out. I'm going to try and do as much damage to these squads as I can before they come in. And then the uh, Contemptor over here just kind of moved over just to get sight at those... Uh, just destroyers. <clears throat> All right. Okay, so rocket into the psychic phase. Bring it. That Nurgle sorcerer is going to cast a Mizma of Pestilence on himself. This makes him a minus one to hit roll. Try and help him out. Goes on a nine. Sweet. Oh, it is. I will cast Prescience on the heavy chain cannon. All right. Guys, as well. Looking for that seven. Get Goes it. on an 11. Oh, that would have been nice if peril happened. <laughs> and then from the Slanish guy, he's going to cast Warp Time on the Leviathan. Over a 6. Oh, it does not no. go. Oh, well, I will CP it because I want to try and make it happen. It does happen. And awesome. do, do I get that point back? I don't. No. So he gets to move 7. Move up like that. All right. And then I will cast for my last power, delightful Agnes on the Leviathan as well. Makes sense. Move for a six, and it goes on a seven. Boom. Seems we're kicking off with the Laz Cannon Contemptor firing into the destroyers. Yep. So looking for looking for threes because I moved. We're rolling everything from Abaddon. And then Tough strength five. nine. Looking for those threes. For two. All right, so they're uh, they're out of the way. It's minus three, right? Yeah. So it's gonna get a six up save. Two go through. So hopefully first one and the second one. Two down. So we'll put those off to the side and hopefully reanimate. Okay. And then may as well go big. I'm gonna fire the heavy chain cannon havocs into these uh, Triarch Praetorians. Triarch Praetorians. Send it. It's gonna be a lot of shots. Yeah. So it's 32 shots, so roll 16 at a time here. Looking for twos and re-rolling ones from Abaddon. That's very powerful. Hmm? 14 seems oh, to be the number. Before. Yep. Second volley. Lots of ones. Better. Total of 30. Oh boy, here we go. So here's 16 of them. Those guys firing in the Praetorian. Let's Strength see if five, I can five. Yep, tough five. I'm gonna get cover at Looking least. Fours. Ooh, ugly. Uh, for only five so far. I don't think too out. Five on the first volley. Uh, looks like the Praetorians are surviving. Five total of, what do we have here? Total of 13. 13, okay. So AP? Uh, minus one. All right, and I'm gonna get cover because they're in the terrain with an inch. So let's, uh, it's three up to four up, back down to three up. So let's, uh, yeah, let's see how many survive. One damage each? Yeah. One, two, three. So it looks like I lose three. So one, two, and three. And we'll try for the reanimate on the next turn there, but that's them. All right. All right. Moving on, I'm gonna fire the four missile Havocs. Okay. They're gonna fire crack missiles into the- uh, Lich guard. Lich guard. Sounds good yeah. to me. So looking for threes, re-rolling everything from Abaddon. Still drop that one, not yep. bad. And then uh, strength AT5 again? Yep, threes. Threes. For two, AP? minus three. Minus three, uh, so they're three up, goes to a six up. 
How much damage? D6 each. Okay, so, so first let's see. one. Second kills one. a guy. Kills a guy. Two of them. Bleh. So we'll put them aside. So it kills the guy with the one wound and the other guy. All right. Okay, now what do we got? The Leviathan is also going to fire into that uh, same squad. Of Sounds ones. good to me. So he's looking for threes because he moved, and I'm going to just take that because I get my rerolls from Abaddon. Rerolling. For all hits. And their strength 8 T5 again. So yep. looking for those sweet threes. AP? It is minus one. Minus one, three up to a four up. Oh, all but two damage? Two damage flat. Okay, so that's just two more. Bam, all right. And then Abaddon will fire his claw into there. Sounds He's got good. four shots, looking for twos. Ruling everything. T5. And strength four, so I'm looking for uh, fives. fives. One. One, minus one. Minus four, three up to a four up. Oh, he's Save. good. With a four. Okay. All right, not bad, not bad. Okay, so with the dirty now, I'm going to, the Wounded Contemptor is going to fire his Soul Burners into that beat up Stalker. Six wounds to go through. Uh, so a total of three. All right, needing fours? Needing fours now, He's yeah. pretty damaged. He, that's cocked. So he gets one. I am going to CP this though, because okay. I don't want him to die. Do you get that back? No, I don't. Oh, well, he dies, sorry, and do I get it back? I do. And does he explode? I hope not. He okay. does not. So All right, well, yeah. One mortal wound. He took, took care of himself for me. Thanks. Yeah. Thanks, Contemptor. <laughs> All that work to save yourself, um, and you hit your toe. From the undamaged one, he'll fire into there as well. Oh, that was one mortal wound, eh? Yeah, one All right, so he's taken, yeah, he's down to five. 2d3. Oh, sorry, he's taken seven. 2d3 again. That seems to be the number. And then uh, looking for three, uh, looking for twos because he didn't move for three more. Three more. All right. So he's seven. He's up to ten. I'm pretty sure he has fourteen, but I'll double check. It's pretty hurt. Pretty hurt. Okay. There's that. 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 That's everybody, I think. I think that's everything that's fired. So what I'm gonna do? Lay these down. Is uh. Hmm. And try to reanimate them shortly. Because I kind of need a big thing here. I kind of wasted it. I should have done it before. Uh, before I get too crazy. What do we got? The sorcerer will fire his two shots from his ah, bolter. Into the Lich Guard? Into the Lich Guard, yeah. Sounds good. Looking for threes. We're rolling because of Abaddon? Uh, just Ooh, out, I think. I think. Might be out, yeah. What, yeah. Yeah, no matter what, so that sucked. Um, he's not twos for being a character? No, he's only threes. Wow. And what I'm going to end up doing is I'll pop uh, Endless Cacophony for two. Ooh. And I'll see if I get my point back because, nope. Uh, you got your point back. Oh, I did already, so never so yeah. mind, disregard that. So for two. And I'm going to let the Missile Havocs fire again. Oh, joy. Here we go. So for four shots again. Oh, boy. Here we go. Threes. Rerolling everything from Abaddon. Oh. Uh, I'm okay with this. Yeah. Uh, looking for threes. For two. Again, two. minus three. Minus three, so I'll go ahead. Sixes. Okay, two the, more. The first one. And Kills a guy. One. Kills a guy. So end of the turn two here. Just to do a recap. We're all on objectives, so no one is scoring anything. Moving overview, Stalker didn't move, the Morals are hanging on to the objective. Cryptek managed to advance his way up. He's got an assault weapon though, so I'll be able to use that. Then the Destroyers moved up as well. We're basically trying to get all our eyes on the Contemptor to deal with him with the last cannons. Uh, Triarch Praetorians are poised to murder that squad or hopefully move in and take him out in combat. And then we have the Lich Guard poised to make a charge, as well as the uh, Catan. And then we have Andrek here in the back here. Warriors moved over. Basically, we're going to try and use uh, Mephrit to their fullest ability to deal with the Contemptor. And the Leviathan, I might just have to ignore for now until I have a better plan. Starting with the Stalker into the Lord. So it's uh, three up, minus one due to Miasma. Needing fours. 
No rerolls, but he was declared as part of the attack, so I'll get to reroll for a unit that targets him afterwards, at which point I've got one, two, three, four, five guys. So that's ten shots from this squad into the Lord. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So they have been my will be done, so they're hitting on twos, which goes to threes, and Tesla on sixes. So the twos missed, but I got two Teslas, so that's one, two, and two more. Strength five, what toughness is he? He's T4. T4, so needing threes, no rerolls. So five. At minus nothing. Okay, uh, three up to save. Takes one. Takes one. We're going to move over to the uh, Cryptek. It's got a Staff of Light. All right, Staff of Light. Yeah, is Assault, so he's hitting on uh, threes, which goes to fours. It's three shots. Miss with everything, but to get to reroll one because of the uh, Stalker. Hits with there one, strength five, tough four, throw threes. It's cocked. Misses. I really don't want to use my destroyers on that guy. But it looks like I might have to. So what's going to happen is I'm going to use Talent for Annihilation and Extermination Protocols. I'm going to put one destroyer into the Lord, and I'm going to put the other four into the Contemptor. So that puts me down to one CP. So we're going to start with the one destroyer into the uh, Lord. So these are threes, we're rolling everything, thankfully. All right. Strength five, or strength six, tough four, so threes. We're rolling. So that's one at minus four, because they're Mephrit. Oh, uh, I can't save that. So it'll be D3 for a big old three points of damage. Which will kill him. All right. Nice. Worked out. So I got three, six, nine, twelve going to the Contemptor. Three, six, seven, eight, nine. We need three more. 10, 11, 12. Hitting on threes. Rerolling everything. Talent for Annihilation, six. Additional six, which allows for two more hits. All right, not bad, not bad. These are strength six, tough seven. So needing fives, re-rolling. Everything, thankfully. Wow, that was a bad roll, all right. Two, three, this is at minus three. Okay, so five up and vulnerable, or yeah, invulnerable save. Take one. All right, D3 damage. One point of damage. That was really bad for the destroyer's utilization of extermination protocols and talent for annihilation, but here we are. We're going to move on to the Triarch Praetorians firing their weapons into these guys. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Six, seven, eight. I'm just going to have a quick look. Eight dice hitting on three. Dropping three. These are wounding on... Fives. Yeah, two five. Minus four. So fours. Two at minus four. Two guys die. Yeah. Sergeant and the other guy. Sounds about right. The ten has a twelve inch gun. I'm gonna try and see if I can get lucky with something. All right, they're within twelve. So he's gonna use his gaze of death on them. So D six. Getting the one, I'll use my last command point to reroll. Getting five shots. Four, five. And these are hitting on twos. And because they're targeting people, uh, we're wounding on twos. All but one. And wounding on twos. So that's four. It's going to be minus, I want to say four. <sighs> yep, minus four. And these are D3 damage each. Okay, so they are dead. Whew! Not bad, not bad. Hmm. These warriors 
are going to fire into the contemptor. Now I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten in rapid fire range with five not in rapid fire range. Now I'll do the ten first because uh, it's mech rate, so that's 20 shots. Two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Perfect. So these are hitting on twos because it might well be done from the Lord. And no rerolls. So three bads. And now these are going to be strength four, toughness seven. seven. So I'm needing fives. Ooh. So it's four, five, six, seven at minus two. One damage each. And for that sweet five up. Take four. All right, and we got five more that are not in effort range or rapid fire. So these are hitting on twos, four, and again, five. So one at minus one. Good. All right, so he's taking four. Yeah. Not too bad. <clears throat> All right, so this changes things up a little bit. My Lich Guard. Have some targets. I want to get everything in. I want to really lay some hurt down. So I'm going to take a little bit of time to think about what I want to do. So we're at a critical moment of the game. I need to make my charges. I need to break this castle. And I need to break Abaddon. So first things first, we're going to start with the Praetorians. They're going to multi-charge Abaddon and the Havocs. Okay, so the Havocs will fire first. Havocs will for sixes, rerolling everything from Abaddon. That's, that's brutal. Not, Not a thing. Woo. Uh, pistol from a sergeant. Oh, it's a pistol. Uh, strength four, T5, looking for five for one wound. We're good. No We're problem. Safe. And then Abaddon gets his four shots. He's rolling, oh, no. rerolling everything because he's Abaddon. So okay, I got two. two. Strength four again, though. Just looking for fives. All right. Pretty nothing. So we need a big charge here to get everything I need to do. We make it with an eight. So, oh my god, all right. So the Praetorians got in. This is how I kind of move them around. The Lich Guard need a six inch charge and the Catan needs an eight. So we're gonna do the Catan first. Oh, out by one. Oh. Hold on, hold on. Oh, no, it's it's too far out. Oh man, okay, six inch charge for the Lich Guard. They, that would have been better for the uh, <laughs> the Catan. So Lich Guard are in, which is good. Doing the attacks here, I've got uh, two guys which is gonna attack the squad, so that'll be four attacks, and then 12 will go into Abaddon. So here's what we're gonna do. We're going to start with the four on the squad, which is hitting on threes, all but one. It's strength five on tough four. Tough five. Tough five, so I need fours. Two go through at minus three. Okay, looking for six ups. Make one, take one. Kill a guy if they're one wound. Yeah. Now, uh, the big one, 12 on Abaddon. Not bad, not bad. Hitting on threes. Toughness five? Toughness five, yeah. Tough five, strength five. Needing fours. Not too bad. One, two, three, four, five at minus three. So he's got his end bone. Four up. Oh, he Abaddon. He saves himself from total despair. Are you going to interrupt at this point? All I have is Lich Guard left. No. All right. May as well save the CP, right? Two, four, yep. six, eight. 10, 12, going into the squad. 2, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So these are, again, hitting on threes. Now these are strength seven. So these are wounding on threes. Mm -hmm. Hit minus four. Five, minus four. Okay. So that's enough to kill the rest of the squad. Okay. So now Abaddon gets to attack back. I'll do my consolidations at the end. 
sure. Okay, so Abaddon gets uh, six, one for hateful assault. Bring it on. And then from the sword, he gets an additional d6. Number one. Uh. So for three. And I am going to pop Veterans of the Long War for one. I'll okay. see if I get that back, actually. I you don't. do not. So I got three left. Okay, so Abaddon is strength five base, so he's six with the sword. So I'm looking for a twos to hit. Rerolling for Abaddon. Mm -hmm. There you for go. Not bad. Strength six, T5. T5, so threes. Okay. Three rolls. And Three. so with Veterans, I'm looking for twos. Ouch. So that's... Pretty much all but one. AP? Minus three. Ooh, six up. And these are flat three damage each. Oh, this is gonna hurt. That's gonna one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, that goes the squad. That's them, yeah. All right, so I'm gonna do my consolidate first because the Lich mm -hmm. Guard, uh, Consolidated first, so they're gonna go three inches into the Leviathan and tag him. Now Leviathan don't get to strike back. Okay. We're gonna do it like that. Okay. Then I'll move Abaddon up three towards you. Sweet. Let me just double check on my Leviathan. Sure. Okay, so the Leviathan attacking back, he has four attacks. He's looking for twos. Rerolling from Abaddon. Cool. Tough five. Uh, strength 16. Twos. <laughs> so that is four. EP. It is minus three. Sixes. Nice. Three? Yeah, flat three. Yeah, well, three lie down. Okay. All right. Uh, that looks like that's it for the Necrons. Uh, Black Legion will try and bring it back. All right. All right, so Black Legion movement overview. Uh, the Contemptor moved up. Gonna still, again, fires on some destroyers. Just trying to score some objective love here. Now, Leviathan's held in combat. Gonna have to deal with that. Abaddon's moving up. I'm gonna try and do some powers and get up there to assist. Uh, the Contemptor moved up also to try and engage these Necron Warriors. Okay, so Psychic Phase, starting things off, I'm going to cast Warp Time on Abaddon. Looking for that sweet six. It does go, so he's going to move up. And then I'm also going to... I'm going to smite these Makes sense. guards. So looking for five. Super smite. I do perils, so I am going to take D3. I'll take one. That's okay. But I get to do D6 on these guys. So for three mortal wounds. Kill one guy. And one wound on another. So <clears throat> I'm trying to make sure that Leviathan is going to be a little bit more safe. Okay, moving into the shooting phase, the Contemptor is going to fire into those destroyers. Bring it on. So I am going to burn one for, uh, what is it, Blasphemous Machines, so he ignores the movement and shooting. Do I get that back? I do. You do. There you go. So yeah. looking for twos for all hits. Okay. And then looking for threes. Yep, tough five. Oh. <laughs> oh, survival of the fittest. Yeah, that's okay. Get those bad dice out now. All right, so I decided, yeah, shooting isn't quite the best idea because I really want to get into combat here. So I'll start with the uh, the Contemptor. He'll assault first. I don't think we need to roll. <laughs> yeah, he's in. <laughs> and then Abaddon, he's looking for that sweet four. He's just in as well. All right, coming over the train. And then the uh, Selene Sorcerer, he's going to go just like that. There you go. Okay, start things off. I may as well do. I may as well do the uh, 
Do Abaddon. Yeah, he's going to kill the most. Don't want to kill lots. So he's going to start with 6, 7 for Hateful Assault. And he gets D6 for his sword for 3 again. Another 3. All right. So looking for 2s. And he's re-rolling everything. And then he's looking for strength 6, T4. Yep. He's looking for 3s. Uh, it kills, well, sorry, three, four at minus three. Okay, so one, two, three, four, pulling your contender out no. for combat. And actually, we'll move him here and we'll pull him out. So four. Okay, and then... Uh, your, this guy gets your assault. Sorcerer three. Sorcerer. He's got four attacks. Looking for threes. To five. Strength four, so he's looking for fives. Nothing. Um, and Leviathan. I think he's the last one. Yeah. Yep, so out. Four for the Leviathan. Looking for twos. And looking for twos again. For three. Three AP? Minus, Minus three. three. So I get that six up. Here we go, I just need to pass two to live. Damage? A three each. Yeah, so let's go again. So I'm gonna burn three CP for Abaddon to attack again with the corn strat. I'm gonna see if I get anything back. I do. Down to one. Which is sweet. And uh, I, I'll pop veterans just because I really need to. What about the unit? <laughs> I yeah. really need to get it. We're no CP to no CP. Yeah. Seven with an additional five. So he's looking for twos again. We're rolling ones for everything. Moving threes. Yeah. So strength six, T4 looking for three, so I can do it on two ups. This is a bunch. So four, 11 total. And that's the squad. Two, four, six, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay. And then, because this guy over here will be closer, I'll just kind of wheel this way. You so. can just not move at all, that way you don't... Well, I should still be in within yeah. three, so... Yeah, you're good. And that's, yeah, that's about all I can do. So victory points at the end of the turn. I have two, you have two, so no, uh, no turn over there. Yeah. Uh, we both killed the same amount of units. That's right. So, yeah. All right, Necron turn four. Darkstalker moved up, so he'll be minus one when he's shooting. Destroyers moved up. They're going to help deal with the castle over there. My lord and Honor Kier are staying away from Abaddon because, well, it's Abaddon, and I like life. Um, at the end of movement, though, the Catan is going to do Cosmic Fire. Roll d6 for each unit within 9 inches, add 1, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, on a 4 plus, unit being rolled for suffers d3 mortal wounds. So we'll start with the Kneptor. 4 plus. Nothing. Leviathan. Nothing. Character. Nothing. Yay. <sighs> okay, not the way I wanted it to go. <laughs> now we're going to go into the shooting phase. Shark Stalker is going to put some shots into the Contemptor. The idea is if the Stalker can kill the Contemptor, I'm trying to get victory points here. Abaddon's kind of a lost cause. Needing fours. Getting two. Strength nine, tough seven. Yep. Threes. Ooh. At minus four. So you get your five up and both. Need those five ups. Nope. Oh, D6 damage each. He nine, does dead. he blow up? No. Does not. Okay, so that's one down. One so far. Uh, I'm going to put these ten immortals into Abaddon because they got nothing else to shoot at. Nine, ten, two shots each. On sixes for Tesla, three plus. So that's one Tesla. That was a three or something. Yeah, it was, it was a hit for sure. Okay, and two for Tesla. Now strength five, toughness six. So needing fives. Get some cheeky wounds on Abaddon. One, two, three, four, five cheeky wounds on cheeky Abaddon. No AP. 
Okay, so looking for those sweet two ups. Takes one. Takes one, Abaddon. Feels it. Even a god game can bleed. We've got seven left. Alright, Onrik here is going to do some cheekiness on a 4 plus. This gentleman is going to fire some last cannons into his own friend. Actually, what's the. How many shots does he get with that gun? Which one? The butcher cannon? Yeah. Eight. Eight? Hitting on? Twos. Ooh, that would. And what's the strength of it? Strength eight. Okay, actually, I'm going to try it on the Leviathan. 4 plus. Yes, I get it. Eight shots. These are going to go into the. Oh, I could, I could totally kill this character right now, <laughs> which would be hilarious. Oh man, I got eight shots. Where are they gonna go? I've, I don't know. I don't know how to feel right now. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Hitting on twos. Uh, what, uh, do you have special rules? Rule only ones? No. Okay. No, nothing fancy like that. All right. Damage on this? Three? Two? Two damage. Two damage. So if they hitting on twos, wounding on threes against the Contemptor, and then my destroyers can shoot at the Leviathan. Because <sighs> my Catan will kill his character. Wow, this is this is some stuff right now. I'm going to have to think, think about this. So I've decided I'm going to put the eight shots hitting on twos into the Contemptor. He's, he's got to go. No rerolls. And a strength eight on tough seven, so mm -hmm. needing threes. Any rerolls or anything? Okay. Ooh, all of them on his four. So six. Yeah, so uh, I have a three, so minus one and looking for a four up. Take four, that's eight. Eight wounds. No. Not bad, not bad. Okay. <sighs> so he's got two left, eh? Mm -hmm. All right, so I'm going to put uh, these five into him. Okay. It's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Going into the Contemptor. Three on threes, re-rolling ones for hardwired hatred. Get that single two out of there. Converted all. Alright, now we just need strength plus six, tough seven, so five. Alright, here we go. One, two. These are going to be on his invuln. Three, four. Five. He just needs to fail two of these on a five-up invuln. Come on. Got yeah, it. He's toast. Does he blow up? Let's hope. No. Oh, I saw that <laughs> six. No, he does not. All right. Two down, one to go. So the Catan, I guess, is going to use his Gaze of Death. And because the Leviathan's closer, it's got to go into him. Mm -hmm. On sixes. Or sorry, three shots. Hitting on twos. Dropping one, and these are wounding on sixes because he's a vehicle. Nothing. Okay. Everybody's fired. I took a cheeky wound off Abaddon. We're off to uh, we're off to the races. So what needs to happen here? Your toughness eight on that Leviathan, right? Yep. And he gets plus he has four pin blown in combat. Yep. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna go to charges. Catan is gonna charge the character. Okay. Not the Leviathan. Okay. So you go ahead and do your overwatch for the character. Okay, so he's got Angel's Beans, so I'm looking to got four shots, one hit, strength five, tough seven. Tough seven looking for fives, nothing. Nothing. And he needs four inches. Ten. He's no going to come around, he's going to get in right there, he's going to stay an inch away, and Honor Kier is going to charge the character as well. That's going to be in with a 7, I think. Yeah, Ooh. so... It's right on. I don't know why. Nice. No, it's in. We're in. Because okay. I have to do it an inch, so he makes it. So that goes the character. Pop goes that weasel, if you will. And the Lord, of course, is never going to make it into combat. But he's kind of hiding, as it were. So what's going to happen now is... Okay, we're going we're gonna to attack. The Catan is going to attack. I believe he's got four. I'm just going to double check. Okay. The plan here is to kill the character, consolidate to the Leviathan, and try to ramp away with points. 
because I don't think I'm going to kill the Leviathan, and odds are the Leviathan might not kill the Catan. So we're going to go with the, uh, the Catan. Where is he? It's four attacks. Hitting on twos. Three. Wounding on twos. Ooh. Minus four d6 damage. Minus, oh, minus four, I can't yeah. save it. D6. Big ol' three. Okay, so only got one left. All right, Onra Kier's turn to fight. Onra Kier's got three attacks, plus uh, three attacks, hitting on twos, because of my work done. Three hits, strength eight, so twos again. Mm -hmm. Three wounds at minus four, two damage. Okay, that's enough to kill him. That's enough to kill the character. All right, at this point, I'm consolidating into the Leviathan. Now, the Leviathan will be able to strike, but that's okay. I really wanted to avoid his heavy flamer overwatch. Okay, so Leviathan has four attacks. I'm going to go at the, uh, the small character. All right, both have four up and going. So looking for twos. Two. And then strength 16, it's obscene. Uh, looking two. for twos. For two wounds. Four fin bone. Tank one damage. Three. Okay, uh Henrik here has six wounds, so he's down. He's down to two. Okay. And we survive combat. Nice. Here we are hanging on. So now we're going to the bottom of turn four. Alright, so Black Legion movement. I moved off the objective. And because there won't be any shooting or anything, we'll probably jump right into the uh, charge phase. So yeah, obviously Leviathan's kind of just hanging out. He doesn't have much he can do. So I will just assault here. All right, Abaddon, what does he need? He's gonna need a six inch charge, because it's just over. And he's oh, in with six. just enough. Woo, okay. Yeah. Charging both, obviously, right? Yeah. That's the way. Okay, so. Fight phase, starting with Abaddon. He has seven attacks, and then the sword gives him an additional two. So, how are we going to do this? Uh, you do, you're going to split up your attacks? Yeah, I'll put, uh, I'll put six on the Catan, and the remaining three on the Necron Lord. It's probably a good idea. So six on the Catan. Looking for twos. All of them hit. Strength 6 T. On the Catan, he has toughness. I want to say 7. Yeah, toughness 7. Okay, so looking for 5s. So you get 2. There was, yeah, there was 2 in there. So 2 up, four, two, four up in bones. Move that out of the way. 1 goes through, Just damage? 3. Alright, so he's up to, he's taken 4 total, and he's got how many left? He's got eight wounds left, or four wounds left. Eight okay. wounds left would be ridiculous. Um, and then the remaining three on the Lord. Send it. And then strength six, T. I want to say he's tough. Five. Okay. So the threes for three. Four up in bone. I think, right. uh, I think that's I think that's him. Yeah. So we killed him, which is nice. And then uh, Sorry, here. Leviathan. It's my turn. Leviathan all against the Catan. Looking for twos. And then looking for twos again. Ooh. Ooh, I'll take it. Four up in bone. One goes through. Another flat three. All right, he's got one left. Nice. The Catan, he's gonna put some. Uh, he's gonna put. Some, he's gonna have some words with Abaddon there because it's twos and twos against Abaddon. All right. Yeah, four attacks. Hitting on twos, winning on twos on Old Abaddon. Three hits. Come on, twos. Yes, three wounds. He's got his four up in bone, but it's d6 damage each. I make one, so I'm taking two of them. Oh, could this kill him? How many wounds does he have left? I have seven. Left? Yeah. Ten wounds! So, ten, and I half damage rounding up, so that'll be three, three. So six, he's got one yeah. wound <laughs> left. The Catan put Abaddon to one wound. It's one and one. Oh, pile close. Oh, Nasty. all right. 
Moving on to the top of turn five with Necrons. Yep. Top of turn five with Necrons. Over here, no remove, no need to. Cryptek is sitting on this objective. These destroyers move back. I failed to bring any back. Uh, they move back so that in the event that the Catan dies, the Leviathan won't be able to uh, move up and Flamer. He'll just be able to move up and shoot. Now, at the end of the movement phase, the Catan, I'm going to use his Antimatter Meteor, and on a 2 plus, Abaddon just dies. Abaddon will go down. Yeah, he'll. All he has to do is one wound, and I've only got one left, so Abaddon will die. Abaddon managed to get taken out. Not die, he'll just fall and get whisked away. Of chaos. course, of course, all part of his plan. This is what, the 18th Black Crusade? Yeah. <laughs> Against the Necrons. Um, there's nothing else much. Okay, so the Catan can do shooting, so he's got a pistol, gaze of death. He's gonna get a full six. Three, four, five, six. And he only wounds vehicles on sixes with this. Not a single one. Now, we're going to move to combat, because that's really the only thing that can happen. And I've got four attacks, hitting on twos. I'll hit. Uh, my attacks are strength seven against vehicles. They're not two plus, so needing fives. A single one. He's going to have his invuln. So four up. He's all good. He's saved. Now Leviathan strikes back. He just needs to deal one wound, and the Catan will die. Looking for twos. And looking for twos again. For three. Three on the four up invuln. He will die. Now on a four plus, the Catan will explode. He does explode and he will deal how many mortal wounds? I believe it's D3. I'm going to double check here. Reality unravels. D3 mortal wounds. Two mortal wounds. On Leviathan, okay. Catan, you are the MVP, but even you have to go back to your Pokeball. All right. Uh, I guess I'll consolidate my three up. Yeah. Ah. Oh. Yeah. All right, and see what I can do in my turn here. Okay, so movement. My uh, Leviathan just moved up. I'm gonna. Try and kill this lord, and then hopefully do some damage to these uh, destroyers. So let's see. Uh, butcher cannon firing into the lord. My two hell flamers will fire into the lord, and then my melt again will fire into the destroyers. So the All butcher right. cannon, looking for threes because I moved. Is there a strength eight? Yeah, you're gonna need threes. Toughness five, so threes. Ooh, so only two of them. Two on a four up in bullet. Save one. Okay, it's two damage flat. Two damage, so he's down to, I use mine, he's down to three. So he's taking two. And then the two hell flamers, they're D6 each. Oh boy, 12. 12. There you go. So that might actually be okay. We'll see how it goes. And they are strength five, so I'm looking for fours. What's uh, AP? It's minus one. Three up to a four up. All right, this is probably killing one damage each. Uh, two damage each. Okay, he's probably dead. Two, yeah. There goes the Lord. Yay. My gambit did not pay off the way I wanted it to. And then I'll uh, fire off a melt gun into the destroyers. Hits on a four. And I'm looking strength eight T5. Yep, T5. Looking for a three, nothing. All uh, right. Now what? Charges? Yeah, I'm gonna have to try and charge him. I'm gonna need an 8 inch charge, so he'll get some overwatch action. So I get 15 coming at you. Sixes, we're rolling one. But I have three bads. Converted another one. These are strength, six, toughness. There's another six in there. Oh. Yeah. Strength, six, toughness. Uh, eight. Two wounds at minus three. Okay, looking for uh, five up no matter what. And Saves them both. Good. Now, does he get in? Yeah, looking for big roll. Oh, man, he's yeah, in. he's way in. <laughs> Look at that. All right, can he do enough? Let's hope, because I kind of need him to really hurt. Okay, so he's got four, five attacks now. 
from Hateful. So I'm looking for twos. All of them hit. I'm strength uh, obscene. It's 16. It's looking for twos. AP? Uh, minus three. All right, six ups. Damage? Three flat. Take away the three front ones. Okay. Like a pile in. Two attacks each. Rerolling one for hardwired hatred. Three. Nice. And meeting fives. Nice. Three hits, no AP. Okay, or looking, three wounds, sorry. Looking for that sweet two up. He's Couldn't going. even. All right. So that's the bottom of turn five. I went first. Does the game continue? Continue, yeah. On a what? Three plus? I think three up, yeah. It so does. the game will continue. Ooh. So we'll have a thing and go from there. Okay. Destroyers moved over here, trying to get away from <laughs> that big bad because they can't do anything. My character kind of hit against the wall, forcing him to make some choices. Stalker came over to get some shots on Leviathan. And those guys are holding the objective like the good little boys they've been all game. Didn't manage to... Oh wait, I got one more reanimation for this guy. I forgot. So, I got one more dice. Does he come back? No. No. Alright. Now we're going to move on directly to shooting. So the Stalker is going to put some rounds into Leviathan. Two shots. Meaning fours. Awesome. Strength nine. Tough eight. Meaning threes. No rerolls. Invuln. Five up. Nope. Go no. Through. D6 damage. For the big ol' ah, three points. Still good though. Knocks him down to nine. Uh, do I? I can still see you with both of them, which defeats the purpose of hiding. But we're, we're gonna we're gonna do it. We're gonna try. I mean, may as well. Uh, Rerolling ones for hardware hatred. Needing threes. Stop spinning. Yeah. All right. So that's five needing fives. Three of them at minus three, so involve. For five, no matter what, uh, take two. Two D3 goes three, three four. More. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. One, two, three. Yeah, three, yeah, yeah. So three points. Down to six. <sighs> Down to six. He's taken it, but there's not much more that can be done at this point. So we're gonna we're gonna let him go. Let's we'll see okay. what the Leviathan does. Alright. Okay, so the Leviathan just kind of chugged back a little bit. I'm going to try and kill these destroyers once and for all. Um, hopefully, we'll see. I don't know. Uh, first things first, I will start off with the uh, Butcher Cannon. He's looking for threes now. So he is down a bracket. 50%, hmm, that's okay. Uh, strength 8, T5, looking for threes. Oh, looking for threes. For two, at minus one. Minus one. All right, so three up to a four up. Okay, so flat two. Flat two. So one sitting on one wound. Okay. The uh, two hell flamers and then the melted gun. Two hell oh, flamers. Oh, eight shots. Eight. Nice. All right, so strength five, T five with fours. These are at <laughs> minus one. Minus one. So three up to a four up. Sitting on four wounds left. It's flat two again. It just takes two, kills one guy. Mm -hmm. Alright, it's all in the melt again. All in the melt. -a. Come on, melt. -a. Let's see, melt again, looking for that sweet three. Hits. Uh, looking for threes to wound. Does Wounds. wound. Minus four. Yeah, so roll it D6. up. six. Come on, baby. Oh, one Course. wound left. Of course. He's got to go in for the charge now to clinch this guy. Mm. That's super unfortunate. Um, <laughs> what a bummer. Because either way, I'm gonna I'm gonna end up losing out on points here. So um, I will I will assault though because I, I need to score. At All right. At least. Three shots. Three rolling ones for hardwired hatred, which Ooh. converted to two sixes. Strength eight, so needing fives. We got one. Five up in one. Nope, That's a two. Goes through. D three damage. Big three. Big three. Wow. Wow. That's okay. A... 2d6. Looking for a charge. Not no way. going to in. make it. He's got three wounds left. Does the game continue on a four plus? Can I bring it back and murder him? The game continues. He's down. <laughs> wow. 
Wow. Crazy. Mm -hmm. Four five. All right, we're gonna get this. Uh, is it? Yeah. All right, we're gonna cool. get this on camera. This is the reanimation for these guys. You've got five guys on a five up. Getting two back. That's pretty big. All right, so we're gonna do my, we're gonna do real quick here. They're gonna well, they're gonna hold there for line breaker. They're gonna sit there. Shark Stalker isn't gonna move because he can see, so we're going straight into shooting. Shark Stalker, two shots on the Leviathan. One goes hits, needing threes. Whoops. One goes one. through and five. It's good. Saves. But I do well, it doesn't matter on the rerolls, but three, six, nine, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Hitting on threes, rerolling ones. Is it all bad? Converts. And now I need fives. Two on his five up invuln. Oh no, sixes! <laughs> he makes him. Woo! Oh, he's got three wounds left. It's gonna be a good oh, day. Oh my god. Alright, what do I do? What do I do? I guess, you know what? I charge. Going for glory. Okay, uh, alright. Send it. So, first thing, the melted gun does not hit. Count some dice here. Butcher cannons, two hits. One wound with the butcher cannon at minus one. One wound at minus one, three up, two, four up. Saves. Okay, and then 2d6 health lamers. All right, seven. seven shots. Strength five, T5 again. For four at minus one. Four at minus one, four ups. Ooh, all save. Do I get into combat? I make it in. Is this it? Is this the end of the Leviathan? So you get two attacks each, two, four, six, hitting on threes, re rolling ones, wounding on fives. Re roll that one. All right, needing fives. I need three to go through, and then I need them to fail all three. Well, we only got two. So let's see what happens. No AP? No AP. So two ups. So he's good. Alright, he's good. He's gonna get five attacks back. So I'm looking for, because I'm really hurt, I'm looking for fours now. Three hits. And two still wounding on twos. AP? Minus three. Six ups. Uh, nothing, three damage each? Yeah. So it kills. And that. Okay. And then, because uh, I killed two dudes on five ops, I can regenerate wounds. I regenerate one. So he's actually up to four. All right, and that goes to bottom of turn six. Yeah, so I'm in combat anyway, so we're not doing anything extra crazy. We're just going to fight. So I've got uh, four attacks. Looking for those sweet fours again, though, for two. And looking for two. For two wounds. Minus three? Yep. All right, sixes. Oh, Ooh. okay. Three damage? And yeah. He's dead. And that's the bottom of turn six. Yeah. So he'll get a point for killing more than me. Yeah. This round. And you'll get a, you'll get a point for the objective. Now you get a point for holding more. Yeah. Puts me up to. All right, guys, we're back. The dust has settled. It turned out um, Necron victory, eight to four was the final score. Uh, at the end there, it got super clinched. There were some pretty crucial rolls and things needing to happen and uh, all in all, awesome game. So first things first, thanks for the game. Oh, it was it's been awesome. A pleasure. It was so much fun to see my Necrons just like <laughs> taking the lane. We're still sitting like kind of on the back foot waiting for Psychic Awakening to come down and hopefully, you know, bring on that, uh, the Sign of the King. That's all we need. But, no, it was, a, it was a fantastic game, like, uh, one of the clinch moments for me was getting to combat. I needed to break that castle. I mean, it was, it was such a tough nut to crack. I needed to blow or destroy two of your, your heavy hitting units so that they could, like, just not shoot at anything because they were, they were ripping through my units. But then losing the Praetorians and the Lich Guard, it was tough, but then the Catan going in to save the day, probably my MVP. Yeah, the Catan did quite a bit. Um, as you'll see, that 
final mortal wound to Abaddon was <laughs> just ah, nail in the coffin there. I, I was happy to try and come back, pull it in. Unfortunately, he just made made those extra saves that kept him alive. So that that was a bit of a bummer. But I have to admit that Leviathan's probably my MVP. He just he held out all game and just does what he does, just kills stuff. Stompy robot, and like, yeah. yeah, you're dead, you're dead. So yeah, right at the end there, I tried to I tried to give you a choice between my lord or the uh, destroyers, and and hoping that the game would have ended yeah. at that point. You would have been, you would have got one, but then I would have gotten line breaker. I was kind of, I was good for line breaker due to the crypt tech anyway. Yeah. But sacrificing the lord, turning over a warlord uh, point, I was I was okay with that as long as like. Maybe the destroyers lived. I did get the Leviathan down to what? Three wounds left? Two wounds? Uh, he, yeah, I was at three, and I was able to regenerate one from killing those destroyers. Yeah, but, but we, we, went to, we went to turn six. Leviathan stomped around, did what he does best. Yeah, that was awesome. Again, guys, uh, if you like what we're doing, please like, share, subscribe. Also, if uh, check out our merch store. There's links in the description. We also want to do a shout out and thanks to Hammerhead as our sponsor. Um, they're going to be having our trays and movement templates and stuff on their site. So give them a peek. Also link in the description as well. And yeah, just tell us what you want to see next. What kind of armies you want to see. I know I'm going to be starting to break into orcs pretty soon with the upcoming Psychic Awakening. I'm pretty excited about that. So uh, definitely looking forward to it. And yeah, we will catch you guys later.